Hey everyone, this is hopefully, cross your fingers, one of the last videos before we're able to get together and film some more costume makeup tutorials. But for now I wanted to show you guys a look that is a little more costumey than the daily makeup routines that we've been showing. So I'm a little late on the uptake, but about last week I watched my first episode of Adventure Time, and I am not too proud to admit that I am almost all the way through the series come this week. I absolutely love it. I've been going through some really stressful times and it's just super helped me get through them through escape and whimsy and it's just one of my all-time favorite shows now. If you were to cosplay Finn or Fiona, you might not actually use any makeup at all, but you can use this makeup to accent a cosplay as well as to just use on a regular basis in order to show your fondness for the show. The first step is going to include a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. I should mention, as you can see I've done the look on one eye so you can use it as a reference while I do the other because they are exactly identical. So I'm going to start off by just putting a layer of white along the crease. So the eye makeup is inspired by Finn's colors as well as Finn's little ear hat. And so you can see that this goes up in white right along the corner. So, I'm going to draw a little ear right on the corner of the eye to about the bottom of the eyebrow, is what that's called. Try and get my eyes sort of close. Now the next part is going to involve a couple colors. I'm going to wipe off my brush, and we're going to be using exclusively this Smoky palette from Coastal Scents. Christina has been kind enough to let me borrow it. And as you can see, this palette is wonderful. It has almost every color in it, nice and bright. You could pretty much color the entire land of Ooh. Apparently if you have this palette, don't hold it upside down. We're going to be using these blues right here and these greens right here, as well as a touch of this yellow. I'm going to start off with a hint of blue. Mirror time. Grab a little bit of the lighter blue on your brush, and come in and blend. And then take a hint of your bright Kelly green, and blend into the blue, because blue blends into green. This is the backpack area. And then take a little bit of your light green, the light green part of the backpack and blend into the uh, darker green. I forgot one important step. Now we're going to take a new brush to be sure it's nice and clean and grab some white right on the ear. In fact, if you need more white, you're welcome to go back and use the next jumbo pencil to bring the white right back in there. This ear got a little blue, but why not? It's atmospheric coloring. This is also a fun example of what you can do in the mirror versus basically not in the mirror. We're going to take a little bit of light blue and uh, bring it up through the top. Now for my favorite part to represent Finn's luxurious hair and or Jake and or his sword. Basically all are yellow and all are important. I'm going to go in right in the corner of the eye and cement a little bit of yellow. And if that's not sticking as well as you'd like, you can go back in, apply a little bit more white, come back in with the yellow. Mathematical is a phrase that I love in the show, but just cannot get into saying in real life because most people think I'm talking about math. And now, as you'll see, we have the color base for this eye look. The second part of this look is, as you'll notice, the eyeliner, which sort of gives it a more of a bright pop animated feel. I need two hands for this. So I'm going to tell you what you're going to do, and I'm going to go do it, and then come back and show you it. Essentially, you're going to line along the base of your eye, and then right when you get to the ear, you're going to go up along it in a slowly thinning line. As you can see, I've lined the base of the eye. I've tried to keep it sort of thin in order to make sure it doesn't overpower the colors. Here's the eye lined right up sort of slowly fading so it's not lining the entire ear because that would look a little overpowering. Not 100% symmetrical, but you get the idea. I would probably recommend popping this a little bit more vertical instead of horizontal as this went. More like this eye has the has sort of a better ear shape. But we're going to finish off this look 
with some of Sephora's Nice Blue Mascara. I'm gonna put a little bit on the upper lids, but since we don't have a lot going on on the bottom, I'm gonna try and pile on a little bit more under there. For the final part of this look, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics blush palette, and I'm going to choose this nice sort of bright orangey blush color. Just pat on the apples of my cheeks, because as a cartoon character, I am nice and cheery. I'm gonna keep the rest of this look really natural, so I wouldn't recommend putting on much lip color. I have an EOS lip balm right here that I love in a nice pink strawberry flavor, almost bubblegum pink. And I'm just gonna make sure my lips are nice and moisturized. So as you can see, this look is relatively simple. You can do it pretty quickly and with a little bit of practice, evolve into some sort of symmetry. But again, symmetry isn't always what counts. Make sure that it's fun, vibrant, colorful, and that's what will remind it of the spirit of adventure time. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you have any other ideas for tutorials you'd like to see. See you next week!